Yo, what is up guys, Lyric here. Today we're gonna be talking about split screen gaming because some of you guys requested me making that. First thing, is split screen gaming dead? I personally think it's not totally dead, but it's not as strong as it used to. It's kind of on life support right now. <laughs> like most games, they could have added a split screen feature, but they decide not to because they could either put money, they could more concentration in other areas like multiplayer and stuff like that there and solo experience, which is understandable, but at times it's not there. They could have just said okay this game would be it's okay it's okay game i'll give it a five but if we add a split screen it would jump that thing up to seven or so man split screen sometimes makes the game so much more enjoyable but there's multiple reasons why it's dying it's money and stuff like that uh, but yeah but it's kind of weird like the consoles that i like xbox ps4 and pc split screen's kind of dying but the consoles i hate is like nintendo but that's only because the games on nintendo are not games i generally like or play yeah so it's a bit strange they're not catered to me they're catered to like a younger audience so it's not catered to stuff i would usually play like they got super mario pokemon mario kart stuff like that stuff i don't play and those games are burning in split screen and the audience is a lot younger. That's the thing I like about Nintendo is even if the split screen games they're not willing to make every game a single game and sell it as a, you have to buy a console in general like one console unit as a fixed thing like you gotta just buy you can make one console and everyone in the household can play it. You have four people playing on that one console but if you're on Xbox you have to have four consoles okay okay a Wii price is roughly about how much 200 to 150 and that's one console and you can get a lot of enjoyment on it but to be fair there's not that the graphics are not gonna be as good as on a Wii but you can get a lot of entertainment like party or family entertainment and i know they've seen some games on vr on the console but it's buying a whole extra console really because i said on ps4 it's like 300 or something pound i still more expensive than buying a wii which is just 200 and you get some wii controllers or wii u wii u controllers and stuff like that there, and all of you can play that's a lot more cheaper and it's better for the customer that's shit sick that's one thing i like about nintendo is they think about the customers quite well everything else i really don't like about them but they think about the customers quite well they want the experience the customers to enjoy and everyone to enjoy it not to fork out all amounts for the consoles and they can sell the same thing over and over again like Pokemon or Mario and people will buy it that's that's the sick business model I think that's what I like about Nintendo they, 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 that's, they, that's one thing they can do over and over again and get away with it and it, no one complains no one at all complains about that now if you get like PS4 Xbox Halo Call of Duty or anything like that there it's those are the games that only play split screen if you play other games you gotta get multiple consoles like Destiny or Division you gotta get another console to play with someone in the household and if you play with your friends only then that's sweet but if you have someone in the house in the house want to play you guys gotta take turns on the same console or fork out for two consoles that shit's expensive like especially if vr comes out and vr comes into it you get a ps4 vr and how much is that each okay ps4 oh, ps4.5 vr would be roughly about 400 for the console 300 for the vr or is it 399 okay let's just say 400 400 800 pound for one person on a console that is expensive i don't think i'll be willing to pay that much on a console but if you got like three four kids and each one their own console nope not everyone's getting vr in that household someone's getting a game boy someone's getting this Someone's getting a pair of socks. I ain't gonna fork out. How much is that? Okay, two kids, thousand six hundred. Dang, that's a lot of money, man. I'm on the line. That kind of hurt me. That hurt me just thinking about it. But yeah, it's a money situation. Why they do this? Nintendo, they make a lot of money from the games. They they and they sell the same games every year. It's a bit more better, but people love it. You can't complain about that. If, it's, if people like it, they'll go for it. Me personally, I don't like Nintendo games. They're not for me. And I was thinking about: it. is there any way split screen could actually be saved at this minute? And it's a bit hard to say, but the only way it would be saved, if people actually stopped playing online which is not gonna happen or or people start buying two consoles if they see people are just buying one console per household then it'll be a different story but people are not gonna do it people are like uh, give in aren't they it's gonna be buying like multiple consoles everything it's something that's gonna win the make well make split screen die more it's not gonna be ever totally gone but it is going because you get games like call of duty you can play split screen in there but not in the campaign which is why why can't you play split screen on the campaign in call of duty that makes no sense at all but it happens it happens man but you can play it's risky my multiplayer if you want to do that but yeah let me know what you guys think do you guys think split screen gaming is dying because no one enjoys it as much as they did or the fact that it's dying because companies make more money from selling you more consoles and or there's something i've completely missed and you guys know something about it just, just let me know and last thing if you guys found this video informative or entertaining in any way please hit the subscribe button my name's lyric and i'll see you guys on the next one later